Hey guys, it's Tim Barney down at Summit RV in Ashland, Kentucky. Excited to show you one of our newest lines and floor plans. It's the Coachman Freedom Express Pilot Series. Really awesome layout. Got a lot of cool features we're going to go through here. And uh, first, let me show you what floor plan we're talking about. It's the 19FBS, which is great for just a couple of people who might have one occasional guest. Uh, on the outside here, one thing I want to point out is one of my favorite things about Coachman products and that are fiberglass. Here we have an Asdell composite. Now what's great about Asdell? Well, it's about 50% lighter than wood. It's not going to rot, mold, or really have the same water damage that you're going to see in a lot of fiberglass campers. It's got an R2 thermal insulation. Uh, odorless, which, which means no formaldehyde. See the common Luon systems that you're going to see in most campers? Well, they'll use Luon because it's cheaper. It's cheaper, but it's heavier, and it'll rot because it's wood-based. This Asdell is a lot different, and those delamination issues are likely not going to be there. Coming around the side here, we see some aluminum rims. Look super sharp on this camper. Aluminum rims offer you a few benefits, one of which being a little less road noise and they look sharp. We have nitrogen filled tires. Those are great for your fuel economy and they're also not going to expand and contract the way normal air filled tires are. They're going to be filled less often, going to last longer. Over here to my left, you'll see that she's pre-wired for solar. Maybe you don't have solar panels, but they future-proof this thing because in a couple years, everybody might have solar panels, okay? If you want to go off-grid, there's no hookup, and, and your battery or your array of batteries may not last as long as you thought, well, solar might be the way to go. Up above me, we noticed a motorized awning with an LED light strip. And over here, a massive pass-through storage area. You'll notice this oversized door. This is great because a lot of pass-through storage areas won't fit your lawn chairs. This is going to be big enough that that shouldn't be a problem. And way up underneath, you'll see that hooked in, in its own little slot, is an outdoor table. Pull this out, put it next to your campsite. Sometimes you're not going to have a picnic table. For some reason, they didn't put that on your lot. Well, now, no big deal. You've got your own table to bring. And this pass-through storage area is roughly the equivalent of let's say one and a half six foot truck beds. That's how much square footage you've got down here. Plenty of room for all your gear. Around the front, don't mind the uh, little bit of a jungle we've got going on here. We've got a motorized lift up on the tongue with a light, just in case you need to do your hitch work at nighttime. A cover for your propane tanks, gonna make them last a lot longer, keeping them out of the elements. And your spare tire, this is a convenient place for it. Not only is it easy to get to, but taking it off the bumper means you've got a little more backup space wherever you're trying to park this at home or at the campground if you've got some real limitations there in terms of length. By the way, I don't think I mentioned this, but we're looking at, let's see, yeah, it's a 20-foot camper, uh, which is great for a lot of my folks that need a shorter unit. We have a molded front cap. This thing is gel-coated. gel is gel great because it helps resist all the different elements. And being a molded front cap, she's more aerodynamic. The wind and the water just going to brush right off here. Also helps prevent delamination because it's more of a solid and better shaped structure than most of the, let's say, flexed wall looks you've seen a lot of. You know the ones that get ripples up along the seams after a couple of years? This isn't going to have that same issue. And I love the LED lighting here. It's just a super sweet uh, covering there. We've got some outdoor speakers here and a big entry assist rail on my way in the door. On your way in, I want you to look down here. It gave us a little space for our trash can. How many times have you been without a proper area for that and you're kicking over your trash can all the time? There's a mess everywhere. You've got a little dog coming with you and they're getting into it. This is now up out of the way. It's got its own reserve space. No problem anymore. We've also got a good size refrigerator. This is what we're going to see in campers that are two or three times this size. Most of the time, if I'm in a camper this short, then I've got a fridge about this size with a really small ice box. No problem anymore. Oh, while we're here, take a look at this little label. It says we've got one year of free roadside assistance. Those nice guys at Coachman trying to help us out should we encounter any issues on the road. Look at all this pantry space we've got. Or if this is extra clothing storage. I wouldn't have expected this to have this much storage space when it rolled into the lot, but it certainly does. Next, let's take a look at this bathroom. Look at the size of that. We've got a corner, stand-up shower there, no tub, 
lot of folks are saying they don't want a tub anymore. And if this is just a couple of adults, there's really no need for it. Down below, we've got a porcelain toilet instead of plastic. The porcelain is going to offer us a lot of uh, benefits, to name a couple. One is it doesn't hold on to the stains or really the smells, and it's going to last a lot longer than its plastic counterpart. Plus, it feels more residential. I've also got a nice medicine cabinet in here for all my toiletries and other items. And down below the sink, plenty of space for towels. A lot of bathrooms and campers, there's really no place for that at all. So it's sitting outside or it's using your pantry storage. So here we are in uh, the living area or common area. One thing I'll draw your attention to is this ambient lighting that they've added uh, in, in the overhead storage area. Really cool. Uh, and speaking of lighting, we've got LED throughout, which means it draws about one-tenth the power that normal bulbs do. Now, what that means for you practically is that if you guys pull over, let's say at a Walmart overnight, and you're camping there and you're running off your battery power, those lights, those standard bulbs, can often run out your power in uh, maybe just a, a few hours, whereas this will probably last you at least through the night. Down here we've got a jackknife or futon sofa, and it's got these cool lights down in the cup holders. What's probably the coolest thing is each one's got USB ports. Everything these days seems to need a USB connection. So if you've got your tablets, smartphones, and otherwise, you can hook up right here. Put this cup holder out of the way. We've got a bigger sofa that'll turn into another bed for us for that occasional guest. This here is a removable table. Most tables are going to be mounted, fixed in place with a couple of poles that you got to pop out anytime you want to move it, and it can only be used there. This table can go outside with us, or we can just get it out of the way because we never use it, maybe. Over to the right here, in the kitchen area, one of my favorite things about Coachman products, at least most of the ones that I've seen, is this drawer. Silverware has a place now. A lot of times, if a short unit even has drawers, that's what you dedicate to it, and then you can't put anything else in there. Now, because they've intelligently, very cleverly utilized the space that surrounds the sink basin, uh, we now have a place for it to call home. Coming over here, we've got a nice, big, stone cast sink with its own lifetime warranty. Stone cast is nice. It actually has a 500 degree warranty, which means you're boiling water when you're making pasta one night. It isn't going to melt through the sink. A lot of people just use plastic, and you can't put the boiling water down in there because it might actually melt through the sink. Uh, moving across here, we've got a food grade cutting board or butcher block so I can prepare my meats and veggies, a double burner stove top, and a microwave here. More storage in these actual solid wood cabinets, and the framing here is just super strong. I saw the rep come in here and put all of his weight on this area trying to rip the thing out of the wall and it wouldn't go anywhere. That's how well these things are mounted in to the framing. Coming over here, we have a residential queen size bed. It is an actual full 80 inches. Why is that important? Well, now you don't have to get special sheets for your camper. Bring the same ones you got out of home. The fitted sheet and the comforter should all fit this size bed. Up above, we've got some lighting, blue light, or if I want, I hold down, and now I've got the white lights. Very nice. I also see some extra speakers under here. Connected to my stereo, which is a Furion system. Why do I like Furion? Well, these things are better suited for campers. A lot of these other campers, they'll use some so-called name brand or household names that, that you find appealing because you've had good experiences with them in your house, but here's a problem. A lot of those things for your house aren't rated for the climate changes or the temp, the vibrations that these things are going to encounter. Furion seems to do that very, very well. Also, this is Bluetooth enabled. You can do a lot with your phone. One of my favorite things about these pilots is the fireplace. It's got two heat settings based on an electric heat source, so I don't have to run down my propane tank to use this. Plus, it's cool, kind of romantic. Up underneath that fireplace, they've given us a couple little baskets here for some of my... Uh, well, whatever you'd like to keep down there, really. Maybe it's books or some extra clothing. And uh, more outlets down here, USB ports and clothing uh, rail down here. Actually, not a rail. It's multiple holes so that your, uh, your clothes don't slide around while you're in transit and get all bunched up. Drawing your attention downward, I'd like to point out this floor. Now, this is a designer, carefree floor from Conjolian. Now, 
Why are why is this such a nice floor? For so long, camper manufacturers seem to brag about having residential flooring, which sounds so nice. Every time we say residential, it sounds like the top mark. For your house, that's great. But the problem with residential flooring is most of the time it'll only extend from 30 degrees outside or inside to about 120 degrees, which is why some of you who have had a camper in the past where after the winter you came out and you saw this big gash all the way down the floor covering. It looked like somebody took a razor blade and slashed from, from the front to the back. It probably cracked from being too cold out. So this flooring is actually rated for zero degrees all the way up to 150. So cold cracks are a thing of the past. Plus it's got a three year warranty to back up that claim. Very, very nice. I like to see that they're putting their uh, money where their mouth is, so to speak. Up underneath the, the uh, kitchen while we're over here, I'll show you, a, a, well, there we go, a little bit more light. And, well, guys, I think we've pretty well covered everything. Um, this thing has a number of other accessories and upgrades that we didn't get into, but if you'd like to read more about it, simply go to www.summitrv.com or ask for me, Tim Barney, at 606 928 6795 or email me at tim at summitrv.com. Thanks.